This is KF Agro Tech and Agro Service. I'll be talking about the different types of Sudanese. There are some Sudanese, when you see them, you feel like they are Balami, but they are not Balami because of the deal. So they are one of the best for you to cross with Balami, um, with Balami because the, you remember for Balami, the, the better the, the deal. You can see the deal on the neck. But this is Sudanese. It's Sudanese, you can see it. But it has a deal. So if you are doing cross breeding, because of the the fluffy skin you see, any animal with such fluffy skin, with such gathered skin like this, with such gathered skin, it means such animal. It means that such animal will gather a lot of fat. You can see it. You can see it has it will gather a lot of fat under the skin. So imagine crossing this type of Sudanese with Balami. You see to produce, you can see the dilip. This is what we call the dilip. So if it crosses just like the way we have the bukulo, the bukulo um, cows. You know the bukulo cows also because of their fluffy necks fluffy skin that can store a lot of fat under it that's why they have this kind of skin so if you are crossing your Sudanese make sure you get this type it's one of the best though they are rare to get but if you are searching for them search for this type see he's also a Sudanese and he's a very young man he's not that old you can see so if you are look at the second type of Sudanese here So this is the second type of Sudanese. This type of Sudanese is just they have a taller Galatian. They have a taller legs. You can see he's taller. This one is taller. So if he's taller, he doesn't have the he doesn't have the dilip on the neck here. So it will just be thick when it's when you cross it with balami. They will be thick. They will take the balami gene also, but they will just have a thicker meat. They won't. They won't have that fast growth that you are looking for, and they won't produce um, that conversion rate. But you see, then they will be thick and plumpy. But the conversion rate will become your problem. When you, when you are using this type of particular kind of Sudanese because they are just taller. The other one, you find taller ones, but they are not as tall as this particular breed. You can see these are all, these are all Sudanese. You can see from their tail. Some of them are the fat tail Sudanese. Some of them are the uh, slim tail Sudanese. You can see this one looks even like a cross, not a full breed because it's bringing in outcomes but these are all how you identify Sudanese that you can cross and Sudanese that you shouldn't cross so you have to watch out you can see this one with a very good baby there these are uh, Balamis and all that so this is KF Agro we continue to be the best supplier from Nigeria to other West African countries we give you the best advice. We tell you the genetics you are meant to use to cross, to get your money for your value. Because farming is all about money for value. If, you, if you're into farming and you're not getting any value, you're not getting any profit from it, you're just wasting your total time. So, like I always say, first is your infrastructure, build your farmhouse, get your food in stock, then bring in the animals. These are the three basic things you need in livestock farming. If you fail with these three things, you are totally going to fail because without an infrastructure, remember, a lot of diseases will come in because you don't clean, you don't do a lot of things, and from the beginning, you are already losing. Because how do you bring in animals and you are not having an infrastructure? So how do you bring in animals and you don't have feed in stock? Because remember, in Nigeria, we don't have... Uh, ruminant feeds widely supplied 
So you have to be the one buying this, buying that, mixing it, bringing it down. And you have to be careful on when you are stocking. Are you stocking during the harvest period or are you stocking during the hard, the dry season period? If you're stocking during the dry season period, it means you are going to spend a lot of money feeding your animals. But if you're stocking during the harvest season, which is by the way, in, we are in August right now, the harvest season, well, what we call Kakai and Hausa, it's going to be around October, November, December. And those harvest season, gather a lot of food you want to gather and keep them and put in your storehouse. It won't be bad you have a storehouse as big as this. You understand me? The more your food, the more you will not lose money. Livestock farming is all about feed. Feed, cleanliness, and um, veterinary. If you have a lot of, if you have this, your feed, you clean their houses and you vaccinate and treat them fine with vet, a, a very good vet. I'm telling you, are good to go. They are just like humans. The way you treat a human being is the way you treat animals. So the more, the better you treat them good, the better you get your profit. And remember, please, livestock farming is not just about I want to have animals in my farm. Is about thinking about business. If you know you want to go into livestock for, uh, many people call and say, I just have the passion. Then later you complain that your animals are not being sold out. So what's, what, you can see the confusion, because for me that's a total confusion. You understand my point, it's a total confusion. If you know you want to do for passion, do it for the passion and keep it in your hand. If you know you want to do for passion and give a process to business, it means you must follow the guideline of livestock business. Livestock is business. It's not just about the passion. You need to have the business part of it. And the business part of it is about making profit. And making profit, you have to maximize your 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 you have to maximize uh how do i put it what you you put into the system the lower the the, the feeding structure the lower you get your feet the lower the higher you sell off your animal the higher you get your feet the higher your animals will be in the market so and nobody wants to lose so if you know you want to go into livestock farming please try as much as possible to make sure you minimize the cost of your production. If you can minimize cost of production, which is feeding, you know, feeding and uh, what do you call the other one? Workers on your farm, you know, uh, the, the structure of how you build your farm, because even the structure you can use local methods and you still get the best out of it. You can see these are just locally made infrastructures that have been used here. So you need to understand the business before you go and start, you know, casting a lot of business owners or a lot of vendors who sell you animals. Sometimes the fault comes from the farmers. You go for passion instead of going for the business part of it. When you go for business part of it, definitely you make profit. And when you do it right, you gain right profit. You gain a maximum profit, you understand me? This is KF Agro, Tech and Agro Service. We are one of the biggest suppliers of livestock in West Africa from Nigeria. We are one of the biggest consultants of livestock in Nigeria. Contact us daily and we'll answer you every time you get to us. Thank you.